Hi guys. So today on this video, we are talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm getting a lot of requests to update my most recent video and that is how to set up a withdraw bank on crypto.com. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be actually be a really quick video. There's not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But I did another video that describes in detail how to set up your withdraw bank on crypto.com. But a lot of people have been messaging me saying that the process has changed. So we're going to go through that new process on this video. It's all handled here in the app. It's this blue and white one right here. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open my crypto.com app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. This is the home screen here. First thing I want to mention is that if you look at your balance on crypto.com, this includes your fiat balance and also your crypto balance. And I want to let you know that in order to withdraw money from your crypto.com, you do need to sell your crypto. So for example, it says I have $1,100 in my crypto account, but all of that I can't withdraw. I can only withdraw what's in my fiat. And you can check that by clicking on accounts right here on the bottom left. I'm going to click there now. Okay. I went ahead and click there. And I, now you can see my balance on my crypto wallet is $1,126. Although my fiat, which is my withdrawable amount is only 12 cents. So if you are looking to withdraw this amount, you do need to sell your crypto first. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes how to sell your cryptocurrency in detail on crypto.com. So this video is assuming that you've already sold your crypto and you're trying to withdraw money from your fiat wallet. So in order to set up your withdraw bank account, you want to go ahead and click on your fiat wallet right here. I'm going to click there now. Okay, I went ahead and click there. Now we are in the fiat wallet. So whatever you see in this balance, that's the amount that you can withdraw to your bank account. But you do need to set up your withdraw bank in crypto.com. And how you do that is you set this button right here called transfer. It has a couple of directional arrows. I'm going to click there now. Okay, once you click there, then you get this pop-up down here. It says transfer fiat where you can deposit or withdraw. Today, we are setting up the withdraw bank for crypto.com. So we will click on withdraw. Once you click there, you want to go ahead and choose your currency. So my app is only set up for US dollars. So I'm going to click there. Okay. Next, the screen pops up. Another thing I want to let you know is that the minimum withdraw amount for crypto.com is 100 US dollars, at least for my account. So that's why you will see insufficient balance right here because I only have 12 cents in my fiat wallet. So if you're trying to withdraw less than that, it's just not going to allow you. So you need to either sell crypto and add into your fiat wallet or you can't withdraw less than $100. But today what we're doing is we're adding a withdraw bank into crypto.com. As you can see, I already have my Chase account listed there. But in order to add a withdraw bank, you want to click on this button right here called add bank account. It's got a little plus symbol next to it. I'm going to click there now. Okay, next this screen pops up. This is a company called Plaid. So a lot of financial companies or financial apps use this service. And basically it helps protect your privacy from crypto.com, getting your username and password or data. But do keep in mind that Plaid does store that information about you, but this is a pretty common app to use. You can read through their privacy policy and the user agreement down here. For me, I'm okay doing it. That's actually the only way that I know you can connect to crypto.com. So I'm going to click continue. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and search for your bank through this list of banks. If you don't see your bank on there, you can go ahead and click on this line right here. Don't see your bank search instead. Once you click there, it's going to bring up the search bar and you can just type in the name of your bank and it should pop right up and you'll want to click on it. So today I'm going to connect my Wells Fargo account. So I'm going to click there. All right, next they are asking me to enter my username and password to Wells Fargo or to whatever bank that you bank with. And Plaid does use that information to log into your bank account. So that way they can verify that you are the owner of that account. Also that your names match. So I'm going to enter in my username and password off screen. Okay, I went ahead and entered in my username and password. I'm going to go ahead and click submit. Okay, next Wells Fargo is asking for me to verify my identity with the information that I have on file with my Wells Fargo account. Now, depending on which bank you're using, it's going to be some of a similar process to this. I did this with Chase and they wanted to email me. So for Wells Fargo, it looks like they want to either text me or call me to verify it's me. For me, text message is easier. So I'm going to click on this text and I'm going to click continue. Okay. Now Wells Fargo did text a code to me. So I'm going to enter that code in right here. Okay. Enter the code in. I'm going to click submit. Okay. Next Wells Fargo is asking which account I would like to connect to my crypto.com account. I only have one. So I'm just going to choose that and click this continue button down here. Okay. Just a few seconds later, the screen pops up and and now, as you can see, my Wells Fargo account is added as a withdraw bank to my crypto.com app. So now once I meet that threshold of 100 US dollars in my fiat wallet, I can go ahead and withdraw that into my Wells Fargo account. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to add a withdraw bank to your crypto.com app, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.